2 in the morning, and I am off to Berlin. So fun. I'm gonna give you a little rundown right now. Since it's 2 in the morning, I went to bed at approximately... Is it 2 in the morning? Sorry, it's 4 in the morning. Hold on. I went to bed at 2 in the morning, and I got about less than 2 hours of sleep. I woke up very cold, very tired, very much not even wanting to go to Berlin at that point because I was so cold and tired. That's how tired I was. I booked it, obviously I'm going. I'm gonna have a great time. I'm just really tired. So I'm trying to make breakfast quickly. Chloe and mine's taxi, because Chloe's coming with me. It's coming in about 10 minutes. I'm pretty much ready. I'm just making breakfast. We're going for like two days. We're coming back Thursday morning. It's Tuesday morning right now. So we're gonna spend Tuesday, Wednesday there and come back th Thursday morning. Yeah, I'm just really in a state of exhaustion right now. I'm not gonna lie, I think, because we can't check into our hostel until like two o'clock. So I'm thinking we do literally all the touristy things that we can and then just go to bed really early tonight. No midday naps this time. We'll see how that plan works out for us. Hope you enjoy the trip. sure how I'm not gonna lie I wouldn't want to do it again but we did it yeah we're gonna do it tomorrow and the next day <sighs> but now we are in the city center I don't really know where yeah and the fall colors are so nice um, and I think we're gonna go to Museum Island first because we can't check into our hostel for another two hours so hope you enjoy I certainly enjoy the fall colors right now it's amazing Update. We had food. We went to one single 
one, hold on, one singular museum, even though we bought tickets for the entirety of Museum oh, Island. It wasn't that much money that. though. No, it wasn't expensive, it was just a shame. But we need to check into our hostel before 6 p.m. And we also need to go see the Holocaust Memorial and Berlin Wall. But with the distance that those are, we don't have time to go to any more museums. We need to go to these right now. It's a little bit stressful, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> Chloe on the cam. Yeah. It's, it's really raining. depressing. Our day's getting better, guys. <laughs> it's getting better. <laughs> I thought it was a hostel. I think it's a hotel. It's I, unclear. It's unclear. I don't really know. We somehow made it and it's like six o'clock now and it's bedtime. <laughs> we're not going out again. We got like four things that were on our list done today and we might do like one or two more tomorrow in addition to going to Beelitz, taking a day trip to Beelitz. I like Berlin so far. I think the people... They're me. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say mean. I would say they're mean to me. Yeah, they're a little bit mean to us, probably because we're I feel like it's personal. Clearly American, <laughs> but I feel like they're just very straightforward. Like they're not. Oh yeah, they're not afraid to like like roll their eyes. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we've been like, like so a little at a few times. <laughs> well, there was the door thing. The door there thing. They the told us like thing. press the button, and then we did. That and was not. She came out. And was like, pointed at the button, was like, you're supposed to press this one. And I was like, yeah, that is the one I pressed. She was like, and then like, <laughs> she brought it to him. I was like, okay. I, I feel like the lady the at the restaurant was kind of scary. Yeah, the lady at the restaurant, I don't even know what she did, but I was kind of <clears> just like, uh, uh. I think yeah. there was something else where someone was just straight out. I do out, too. Like, I, I can't remember. Maybe someone just passed us and was nasty. Because I feel like someone was mean to us and we kind of went quiet and then just looked at each other and were like, <laughs> Wait, I, I what was that? that? <laughs> like, I don't want to say that people are mean. They're just, they just are. I just don't think they like tourists particularly. That's yeah. only speak English, yeah. which fair. But I do like it so far. I think there's a lot of history and a lot to see. Yes. I'm and the weather's it. not that bad. Like, it rained a little bit, but it's it's decent enough. It was sunny at some points. And it's so folly. Everything looks like fall. Oh, it's yeah. wonderful. Honestly, I feel like if it was winter or if the trees yeah. were just green, we would not be impressed at all. It yeah. would just look like Dublin. But I think the fact that it's really, really fall. I it's love it. It's very exciting. I love it. That's kind of it for now, I guess. We're both really tired. We got two hours of sleep and have been up since four in the morning. <laughs> so, see you tomorrow. I miss you. Good night. But I miss Farlin.
Good morning, it's the next day and it's so fall out once again and I love it. We had breakfast at a nice cafe where the man was very nice to us even though we spoke English. That's a first. <laughs> I've only tried these German pastries. Friends brought them? I don't know. Grace told us to try them because her mom is German and so Grace comes to Germany sometimes. The um, leaves are falling. <laughs> and Grace told us we had to try them. They kind of just tasted like any other pastry though, I'm not gonna lie, Grace. It was good still, but it just looked like it tasted like a pastry. I was expecting a lot from Grace's reaction to them. Well, you were inventing things that it tasted like. I said so. it tasted like cherries, but, but apparently that's just, that just wrong. Whatever. Oh. <laughs> a child just fell. <laughs> so now we're sitting in the park and we have to leave in a couple minutes to go to b -Land. Yay. But the park is so nice. I literally love the weather. I don't know why there's children screaming. Um, we're watching these two kids fly kites right now, and they're absolutely and they're adorable. Away. Yeah, but it's very adorable. Alright friends, so we got into a bit of a situation, could not figure out how to get tickets for the train because the ticket things are very confusing and when we finally did, the train had already left. So now we're getting the train in an hour, but it's fine. I don't even know if we have the right tickets still, I'm not going to lie. We're just going to kind of hope for the best if they ask for tickets or show them what we have and they're like, you're in the wrong place. We're like, please don't send us to jail. And we went to the gift shop, got some fun gifts. We have half an hour left until the train comes. Um, yeah. hotel hostel whatever it is now and we went to the store and got macaroons 10 for less than four euro which i think is a steal but whatever and this giant christmas chocolate santa for 99 cents you may ask why it's because i have a chocolate addiction it's more of a sugar addiction and last night i was getting chocolate withdrawals so i had to buy myself a chocolate santa man today so that i don't get those same withdrawals again i'm like half joking half not joking but yeah so it's like it's like seven o'clock now pretty early night once again we were gonna go see some other things but then it got dark because we had to come back and charge our phones because our phones dying has been an issue this entire trip which we did and then it was dark chloe wanted to say some things though those are just comments for berlin at large from the mm -hmm. trip okay. okay so okay <laughs> closing comments from the trip pretty much because we're going home tomorrow morning one thing i will critique i think compared to some other cities we've been to it's not as walkable as we would mm -hmm. like it to be like some of the important things are close together but some a lot of them really are far all over the place yeah, yeah. maybe it's because we're far away but i kind of don't think so because even no. the attractions are itself are far away from each other yeah exactly um and the public transport is not that good or easy to figure out so yeah i would say that's why it's a shame like i'm sure it's easy for people that live in berlin yeah, yeah. of course it's not it's probably like dublin like it's hard to figure mm -hmm. dublin out 
and I have my own critiques about that. Yeah, because like the buses have been fine, like we just pay with card. Mm -hmm. But when we tried to go on the train earlier, like it was so that hard was to get a ticket. The ticket, the first ticket machine we tried, it just like we put in the place and it was like no tickets are available. And so we looked online, it was like no tickets are available. And I was like, what? We're gonna miss it. And then we had to go to a different ticket machine and get tickets. And but we, we didn't even know if they were correct or not. We were fine, so I guess they. I don't know. No one checked, but we had yeah. them. And then on the way back, there was no ticket machine at the train station. We were like, what are we supposed to do now? So we asked some German couple, and they were like, you can get it on the app. And we were like, so we don't have app? the app. Not that it matters. One. But yeah, we do. If you come to Berlin, use this app, apparently. Like, for someone that's never been here, how are we supposed to know that? No, yeah, like- We did try no, Googling no, even the train tickets, We've been Googling literally the whole time, and it comes up with a bunch of websites that make everything so confusing. Mm -hmm. That literally won't let you buy it. It's um, weird. Yeah, we were also saying how it was interesting that German is used predominantly here, mm -hmm. which of course you'd assume, but also, I think as far as tourist cities go, the people do not speak as much English as mm -hmm. they usually do, which is fine, and it's our fault. We no, yeah, are parasites. But, but like, but it's just surprising. Yeah, it's, yeah I feel like, and like a lot of signs will just have mm -hmm. the German version of things. Whereas other places which, yeah, usually like, their language and then English. Yeah. If it was a forced you should be. Like everything at that tree place was in German. A few times yeah. we just took a picture with Google Translate. Yeah, translated it. Translated it. Um, which again, it's not like a bad critique. No. It's just, no, it's just I just find it interesting. I actually like immersive. it better kind of yeah. because you are more immersed yeah. in everything. I feel like okay. for the capital especially, you would think it's a very touristy place and therefore they probably would have a lot of things in English. Yeah. But And I mean there are a lot of tourist attractions and there are a lot of yeah. um tourists like shops and everything. I feel like there even are that many tourist shops. Though. I feel like I've seen like six. Oh, I feel like I usually see more. But it is just very interesting. I do like it a lot though. Mm -hmm. And I like to feel more immersed in it. Yeah. Like in the place. Sometimes when people are speaking to us, we just try not to say anything so that we just keep speaking <laughs> German because like we feel so bad. We're like, yeah, <laughs> take my money. Um, you see, they switch English, they're like, <laughs> yeah. The, <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> and also, chocolate Santa prices are through, but not through the roof. They are They're through the roof. Amazing. Amazement. Amazing. <laughs> is that Star of David on Santa Claus? Oh, how inclusive. That is very inclusive. Also, the stoplight men are very funny. What What is a stopping man? The stopping man is like, the guy was like... <laughs> They have a lot of bears. I'm not really sure what the significance is with the bear statues, but I like them. And we found out, because we were going to go see the mural of the two kissing men. I thought it was like a gay rights thing, I'm not going to lie. But apparently, that is just how socialist leaders used to greet each other back in the day. Which is very different than what I thought it was. We did not end up seeing it. Maybe we will tomorrow, but I don't think so. Any other closing thoughts? Yay, Berlin. Yay, Berlin. I actually do like Berlin. I do too. Yeah. And I was glad we took our little trip today. Yeah. Because Bielitz was really nice. Well, it was nice. really confusing trying to get there, but it was very nice. Yeah. Well, it's and it's so fall. And it's so cool because it's so cool. In the trees. Also, yes, I would say if recommending a season to come here, yeah, either fall, fall or Maybe Christmas I'm sure it's season. cool in Christmas. And don't quote us on the Christmas things. We also haven't been here during Christmas, but we just but assume that would be nice. I've seen, I've seen pictures. We're not experiencing the nightlife though, so sorry if you watch this vlog expecting oh, yeah, no. Berlin nightlife. We're about to watch Tangled though. <laughs> yep, but if you want to know, I've been told it's very like exclusive and hard to get into places unless you look a very certain yeah. way. Yeah, and Edgy. difficult during the week to find fun things. But yeah, that's my little heads up for anyone who wants to know about the nightlife. That's why you're <laughs> getting. Get. <laughs> I've also been told that it's quite like strict, the country of Germany in general. We were warned. That by other people who visited Berlin, not to jaywalk because we'll get in trouble. We, ha we haven't seen anyone get in trouble for jaywalking, but I would just take other people's advice for that and don't jaywalk. Just cross when the little <laughs> man tells you to, whatever he does. Time for Tangled. Time for Tangled. Bye. Bye.